Good afternoon, one and all. So we're going to look at uh, grid references and how we use grid references or find grid references in Digimap schools. This is one of our short videos. So this will be about 10 minutes, guys. So feel free to ask any questions. I've got the chat box open. If not, I'll ask, answer some of those questions at the end of the session. So hopefully, guys, you can all see the Digimap for schools page on the screen now, which is so we're going to look at uh, grid references, as we mentioned. So the first thing we can do for the country is we can overlay the British uh, National Grid coordinate system. So to do this, I'm going to come to overlays on the left hand panel. I'm going to click on GB overlays and then I'm going to click on British National Grid. And as you can see, guys, that overlay the coordinate system for this country where we get these where we get our four or six figure good references from. So to give you a quick explanation of how this works, if you don't know how it works, the country has been divided up into 100 kilometer squares. Each one of the 100 kilometer squares on the screen, as you can see, this is uh, runs from 0 to 99 along each axis. And each one of these squares has a two letter prefix to tell you where you are in the country. So when you do grid reference work with your pupils, be that at key stage two, three or four, not only do your pupils need to know the four and or six figures, they need to know which one of these 100 kilometer grid squares they're in for it to be an accurate grid reference. Simply because if I give you a grid reference 4162, it's in every single one of these grid squares. So with this overlay on our map, if I now go and search, so I'm going to pop in the OS postcode here. And when I do that, you will see I've got my six figure grid around my particular locality. Uh, and what it also tells me is it tells me which one of these 100 kilometer grid squares I'm in. So it will tell me I'm in SU. So when I need to prefix any location hit in this particular, I need to put that SU before any uh, six or four figure grid reference. So then, of course, I'm going along the corridor and up the stairs to find my grid. Now, what we also have is a dynamic grid. So I'm going to just turn off the British National Grid System and up in there, map selector, you'll see a little button. And that says show or hide grid. And if I click on this, it will give me a dynamic grid. So I can always have the grid on my map. So I've got eight figures here. Now I zoom it out, I'll have a slightly different one. But we can have a very dynamic grid always with the SU there that you can see, guys. So as I pan my map around, it will always tell me which grid square I'm in. So again, along the corridor, up the stairs to find your coordinates for a point or location with the dynamic grid or with the British National Grid overlay. Now, as well as that tool, we have one which you can then find and pinpoint um, grid references for particular locations. Now, the first one of these is found under Drawing Tools. So I come to my Drawing Tools panel, the first tool at the top here, guys. Then I come to, for me, it's the first tool on the second row. I click on Grid Ref. I can choose 2, 4, 6, 10. It defaults to an 8-figure grid reference. So I'm going to click 6 digits. And this time where I click on my map, it will give me the grid reference for that point or location. So if you're introducing grid references with your pupils, a nice way to do this is via a quiz. Can you find the grid references for particular locations? And they can just click on the map and find those localities. Now, there is a second way to do this. So I'm just going to close my drawing tools. This time I can come down to map information, and this gives me a little bit more detailed information about the type of map I've got and the coordinate. But to capture a coordinate, I simply click on capture coordinate. Let's click on the industrial state here. It will capture that point. As you can see, it will tell you the projection, the date, et cetera. So, but it will also give me this, the in this case, the eight figure good reference. And to make that eight figures, six figures, all I would do is remove each figure off the last set of numbers to give me a six figure. So you've got two ways of looking at the grid. You've got the overlay and then you've got the dynamic view and you've got two capture coordinates options. One is this one here and the other one you will find under grid ref. So I'm just going to refresh my page because hopefully you guys know we also have a global map on this so let's go and type a place in globally now of course we won't get a grid reference for these locations because the grid is only relevant for great britain but when i go to the capture coordinate or in this case i'm going to use the grid reference tool here what it will give me is it will give me the latin long for a locality so i click on that point and it then shows me the latin long for that particular location so it means you can record those for global localities and those reference points for outside of great britain uh, and if we zoom right out to the global map so this time i'm going to remove that off my map and zoom right out to my global locality if i come to overlays again on the left hand panel I'm going to click on reference grids 
and I'm going to click on latitude and longitude, and it will then overlay the whole lat and long grid, as you can see here on my map. So if you're doing something around lat and long, you can also find these localities and view them for those coordinates and points for the global mapping. Now, one other option when you print maps from this service is you can overlay your grid on top. So this is particularly useful if you're doing four or six figures. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back into the OSHQ. And if I come to the print panel, I then see my, my print and I can see what I'm going to print. Here's my layout so I can see the map I'm going to get. But it also there's a little radio button here where under additions where it says add your grid lines. So if I click on national grid lines, I won't generate one, but I'm going to cheat and show you one I made earlier. So when I show you this one on the screen, guys, when you've got your print map, you will see uh, not only we've got our scale and our north pointer, we have our grid lines around our map. So our easterns and northings are there, as you can see on the map. So then you can print these maps out, have physical copies, so you can do your grid work on as well. And if you want to look up some more information on how you can access grids, as well as this video, we can click on the help page. And under the, there, we can see our overlays, and it will tell you about the different reference grids. But we also got capture coordinates. And this will show you how to capture your coordinates as I've just displayed on the map there.